two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let it air out and go again. Big breath in and chill your chest down. Hard as you can. One, there you go. Two, Keep going. three, Keep going. Hey y'all, uh, it's your girl, Brit, Brat, Brit to the Brat, and I'm back with another video. I'm back with another video. So, today is August 31st. It is Thursday. As y'all can tell from the background, <laughs> as y'all can Y'all can tell from the background of where I'm at. I am at the hospital. The time has finally came for my baby to come. So I'm gonna give y'all a little story on what happened and then, yeah. So I had an appointment today to get another checkup. Y'all know my due date was August 27th. And I went past my due date, so I'm 40 weeks and four days today. So I had an appointment today, and when I went in, I was only one centimeter. Well, I've been one, I've been one centimeter since last week, but I was only one centimeter. So my doctor had sent me to labor and delivery because I told her that I was having contractions but I was only still at one centimeter and I was this is becoming my second week of being at one centimeter so she wanted to see like if my flu was okay and stuff like that so I came here and they checked me here and my fluid um, was at a two and it's supposed to be at a six so they just kept me here and adduced and inducing me so oh I'm getting a contraction right now okay anyways so like I was saying I can't they keeping me because I'm getting induced um, before they put the mom, what was it called? It's like this little pill they put in you, I guess, to soften your cervix and make you go on labor. So before she, before my nurse had put that in, I was already at two centimeters. She checked me in, I was already at two centimeters. So. Um, she had answered that like not too long ago, like 9.15, and it's 9.33, so she said that I should be having like more um, like consistent contractions. I've been having them all day, but they've been real little or whatever, but she said this is like now I'm in active labor. So we're gonna do one, she said we're gonna do one dosage of the little pill that she already insert, and then she's gonna check me again around one o'clock in the morning. And then she said that um, we're gonna start the pitocin to get me all the way there. So yeah, I just came on here to start the video for you guys because this is going to be my labor and delivery video. I can't believe that I'm having a baby, y'all. But yeah, so I will show y'all the room. It's like, it's not all that. Like, it's not huge. So... <laughs> There go my mama while she's looking. <laughs> and then, so this is her bed over there. The bathroom is in there. Look at that little BTV. 
How, how much money y'all making? <laughs> yeah, I got this little big TV in here. And then that's the door. That's where the baby goes. This is the little monitor right here. And that's really it. So now it's just, my neck is so black. Now it's just a waiting game until my baby gets here. Can't wait to meet my baby. Mom, are you ready to meet my baby? Huh? Are you ready to meet my baby? Yes. <laughs> my neck looks so black. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, Neil, you're <laughs> Wait and call and see if she's still coming. But yeah, I'm going to come back to y'all with another update when stuff start progressing more and more, or whatever the case. Maybe. But right now, we're just chilling. So, calling you? I don't know if y'all can hear me or not, but. It is. It's two eleven, September first, and I'm still here with that. But anyways, um, around it was like around. I say 11, 12 o'clock. Um, I started to get, my contractions started to get more intense. So I had asked for the morphine and my nurse had put it in my IV. So um, I don't really feel my contractions right now. I feel a little bit, but not as much as I was feeling when I wasn't on the morphine. So, I'm waiting for 2.30 and she's gonna come check me again to see if I dilated it anymore. And I'm pretty sure I have because my contractions have been like two to three minutes. I feel like they've been two to three minutes. So, I'm just waiting to 2 30 come so she could come check me again. And we'll see what's going on. So, I'll update you guys and let you guys know how many centimeters. I am once after she checks me. My sister over there sleep. My mom over there be chill. So yeah. We just here waiting for the baby boy to come. I can't believe I say this every day. I cannot believe I'm having a baby. Like if you know me, if you know me, you know. Like, <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'm feeling clear right now because those contractions, no joke, like, they was manageable at first, but then they started to be real intense. So, yeah. But, like I said, I'm gonna come back to y'all. Oops. I'm gonna come back to y'all and update y'all after I get checked to see how many centimeters I am. And hopefully I am past three. Hopefully I'm like at four or five or something so we can get this process going faster. Okay y'all. It is my what time is it? 443? 443. Mm -hmm. 443. It is 443. I finally have the Potosa in my IV. And I am three 
I'm starting to feel the contractions again. But they are manageable. They are bearable. I can deal with them. I don't know why I keep going blurry. But yeah, I just came to update y'all. And tell y'all that, that I'm on the Pitocin. And that I'm trying to feel this contraction again. And I'm at three centimeters. I don't know when I'm going to get checked again. It's probably not going to be later on into the morning. Or whatever. But yeah. It's just a waiting game, a waiting game, a waiting game. I have to get to 10 centimeters. I'm at three. So yeah. I'm kind of tired. But these contractions is keeping me up. But I can handle it. I can deal with it. So let's hope it stays like that. Okay. Yeah, I will update you guys again once I get checked again because I'm really not doing anything but laying in bed, watching TV with my mom and just waiting for it. Just waiting and just waiting. So yeah. You can do it. Come on. You can do it. Come on. You can do it. Maybe like one or two more pushes. Hi, Amir. Okay, if y'all just watched the clip of where I was like, it hurt, like if you heard him say like, oh, it hurt, it hurt. For moms, like do my like moms that are still pregnant, and you watching this, um, like you watch my video, it don't hurt. Like I didn't mean to say it hurt. What I meant to say is a lot of pressure. Like it's a lot of pressure, and while it was a whole lot of pressure while I was pushing. The doctor was like taking her fingers, kind of like spreading the opening area for him to come out. That's what I was talking about. Like, it doesn't hurt pushing a baby out. Like, it's just a whole lot of pressure. And I probably was, like, I said it hurt because I was just irritated. Like, I wasn't irritated, but I was tired of getting touched. Like, I was tired of her, like, like putting her fingers and opening up the area so he could just come on out like while having a whole lot of pressure like that was it like it was i was like oh it hurt like i can't do it like ugh. but i had to snap back like okay Brittany, like you gotta push the baby out so yeah i just wanted to clear that up because i don't want like new moms to watch and be like oh my god it hurts to push the baby out no it didn't hurt and y'all i pushed him out in five minutes I'm so proud of myself, like, for first time mom and, like, seeing other people's stories and stuff, like, they be pushing for, like, hours, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, hours, like, I'm glad, five minutes and done. But yeah, peace. Yeah. Maybe it was the rip down. Maybe it's separate. 
Hey y'all, don't mind my lips. My lips might got crust on it, whatever, whatever. Don't mind my, just don't, just don't mind my lips. Don't mind me. I look a hot mess. I just gave birth yesterday to my baby. So, um, I just came here to update you guys. So, I had him. Thursday, September 1st at 9 o'clock. He is 6 pounds and 11 ounces. Um, yeah, so I just really got to give y'all the rundown of everything because stuff kind of went fast, but not really. But, yeah. So, I went to the doctor on Thursday and I was still one centimeter um so my doctor had me come to the hospital to check on my fluids or whatever I came to check on my fluids and um my fluid was at a two and it's supposed to be at a six so they induced me around I would say I had induced like around eight nine o'clock Thursday and um I didn't hit like I didn't start progressing fast I didn't start progressing fast until Friday so Friday came around four o'clock. I got the epidural. I was getting the IV medicine, but the contractions was starting to come back to back, and they was hurting real bad. Like at first, I was dealing with them with the IV medicine, but they stopped giving you that at a certain time. Like once you hit a certain centimeter, they stopped giving you that. So. Um, I made it to like four or five centimeters and um, I was like, yeah, I need the epidural. So I got the epidural or whatever, then I was chilling, but I guess, I guess, I ended up catching a fever, 102, so they was trying to keep that down or whatever, but it really wasn't going down. The fever really wasn't going down, so then... It kind of went down a little later, and then I ended up catching another fever at 8-something. I wanted two. It was almost the same thing, 102. So, um, yeah, still had, I had, another, I had caught another fever at that time, and then I, um, they gave me Tylenol again. And I had Tylenol twice, and I already knew that I was going to throw the Tylenol up because I was taking it on an empty stomach. But, you know, when you're in labor, you can't eat anything. But, yeah, I was like, like, this is crazy. I'm like, I'm just going to throw this up because it's, like, it's not going to stay down. It's not going to work because I... I don't have no food to keep it down. Like, I don't have no food in my system to keep these talent all down. So, I'm going to just keep throwing it up or whatever. So, once it was like 8, I don't know, 8 something, close to 9 o'clock because he was born exactly at 9 o'clock. Um, it was um, around 8, I don't know. I pushed for 5 minutes. So, it had to be, I had to start pushing probably like, uh, 8, I don't know, 8.55, I don't know. I really don't know. I really don't know. But, yeah. Um, yeah, so I started pushing or whatever because I felt his head, it was like pressure. And... It wasn't really, like, I didn't really have to do too much because he was already, like, pushing on his way. Like, he was already, like, ooh, like, you know, basically ready to come out. So, 
yeah so i had him at nine o'clock yesterday friday september 1st today is september 2nd but right now i'm just chilling in my room i'm waiting for my mom to get back with my food so i'm hungry but yeah probably like where's the baby like we don't see the baby whatever the case is but he had to go to the NICU um, because since I had a fever he had a fever 102 so he on his antibiotics and I'm on my antibiotics for having a fever so I have to wait I thought I was gonna go see him at 2 but now they say I can't see him for 24 hours because my last fever I had was at 8 o'clock, 8.15. So I can't go see him until later on tonight, which is which sucks because I haven't did skin to skin at all. Like, I got to hold him, you know, look at him and stuff. But I, like, I just want my baby here. Like, you know, I didn't carry him for nine months for him to have to go to the NICU and sitting in the queue and I can't see him. Oh, I'm just sitting here bored. Wish my baby was here with me. But I am getting all the since I don't have him right now, I am making sure that I get all the sleep that I can get. Because, yeah. I need, definitely need to sleep. But I am about to start pumping again. So I could get some stimulation going. Since I can't go see my baby to put him on my breast. And I'm sad because it's like they're giving him formula. I don't want my baby to have formula. But he has to eat because I can't feed him. I'm not producing any milk right now so it's all cool it's all cool we will be reunited tomorrow we'll be reunited tomorrow like it will be officially in here in the room with me tomorrow but yeah i'm just sitting here chilling i'm gonna show y'all this lunch that they bought me talking about lunch Girl, it's 2 o'clock. You supposed to Ben bring this lunch. And then it looks nasty. Look. Look at this. Look at this, y'all. Like, what is that? That looks nasty. I don't want that. Oh. That's what I get for talking. Mm. But, yeah, so now, now it's basically just a waiting game. I want my baby. I'm just like, I've been trying to like keep myself happy because I want my baby. Like, but I'm glad he's in good hands and I can call him and check on him and stuff. So. Yeah, but I'm sad because I want to be with my baby. Like, I want my baby with me. Like, my baby is a day old already. He's not with me. He's in the NICU. But I'm glad he's getting taken care of. But yeah. That is it. I will update y'all um, when it's the next time to update y'all. I don't really have nothing else to say. There's really nothing else to update y'all. I told y'all everything already. But yeah. Peace.